vacuum. So what we need to do is, we need to create vacuum within ourselves. What kind of vacuum? Not the vacuum like I am alone, lonely, not that kind of vacuum. But I do not have any desires. I do not want to go to the lower dimensions of my personality. I want to do something great in my life. I want to aspire to something higher in my personality. See, with women, it is another problem. Swami Vivekananda says that if a woman does not marry, then if the father also does not want to marry the daughter, every female near that woman are bent upon getting that woman married. You see, a woman in India means she should marry. That is the ultimate goal of the life. Whatever you study or the, you marry in a nice family, that's all. You forget about your research, you forget about your career, you forget about everything. What a woman is destined to do is to marry and produce children. So Swami Vivekananda goes on and on and says that what can this produce? In a country where women are treated like this, how can you progress? So see, there is no higher thinking, always thinking at the bodily dimension. So we have to go beyond that. So that is why, and then as you said, people are not interested. Yes, they are not interested. Raja Mara, Swami Brahmananda, who was a monastic disciple of Sri Ramakrishna, he used to say, one monk went and asked, Maharaj, you have this great knowledge of Brahman. Why don't you give it to people? He said, I am ready to give, but nobody asks. There are no takers. I am ready to give this knowledge, but even Yama, you see this poor fellow was there, but how many Nachiketas are there? We are so afraid of death that we don't even want to talk about death. So, it is true, people are not interested. But whether they are not interested or not interested, it is the evolutionary process, you will have to go to your higher dimension of the personal, your personality. Is there any of this, uh, no, I will come to it. Some problem in my ashrama uh, computer it was showing properly here some problem it is coming that that should not be visible now okay hmm. <laughs> technical problem <laughs> anyway so if you have a bad conduct now you are not asking questions what is a bad conduct huh? what is adharma Simply by translating from English to Sanskrit, you are not solving the problem, brother. What is adharma? Anybody? What do you mean by bad conduct? Common. One thing I will tell you, common sense approach is the most sens sensible approach. So, if somebody is coming with you, and what will you call a bad conduct? Harm somebody else is a bad conduct. If you don't harm, that is not bad conduct. No, 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 I'm common sense. If you don't harm somebody, then can you not have bad conduct without harming somebody? For example, I, a person say, at the end of the day, hmm, takes some grass, as they call it, quote, grass, what is it called? Some LSD, ecstasy, something. At the end of the day, closing the doors, everything, does not talk with anybody. So that is good conduct. No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing is done. Not necessarily. He gets out of the room only when he becomes conscious or she becomes conscious. So is that bad conduct or good conduct? <laughs> no, no, not philosophical. Common sense answer. Anybody from the younger generation, Gen Next, or may not be Gen Next, this Gen? Wow. That is the only criteria. That is the only criteria. Means the more unselfish an action, the more good it is. It is selfish. What is, again, what is selfish? No, 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 selfish, no, 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 selfish means anything which you do to take care of your body and mind. 
even if you do it taking into other consideration other people that is selfish act any action which is grounded on the dimension of your body and mind i take food it is a selfish act it may be less selfish than killing somebody but it is selfish all the same yes that is true but how much selfish you need to be to survive exactly you see that is why in indian culture there is a term called aparigraha in indian culture we don't say that you don't take anything in indian culture we say indian tradition we say aparigraha as less as possible because all sages knew that you cannot completely stop then the system will die thoda thoda recharge karna padega but chhota sa recharge no vodafone ke chhota recharge so chhota recharge you should do but recharge is necessary so that yes it is correct the very moment i am in a body i am selfish but the point is not that how much self to what extent so the more selfish you are the more bad you are the less selfish you are the more good you are swami ji says litmus test of morality anything which is selfish is immoral anything that is unselfish is moral so here you see a person say namaste it is moral in the west you see a person give a hug west means it is no more a generic term say in the united states of america you hug a person and uh, say it is in france probably you should kiss a person and then it is it is the social conduct so you can't have a um, do and don'ts for every place but in general anything that is selfish is immoral and anything that is see gen next knows right? <laughs> so gen next please start talking you now duscharita means becoming selfish becoming selfish so you should avoid that then having some control over your mind wherever your senses go if your mind starts going then you have no control then there will be no lack of purpose no direction then your mind is totally restless you see for anything to move on something the thing on which it is moving should be stationary if both the surfaces are moving then chaos so road should be stationary and the car will move so like that so when you have all these things then you will know your true nature now we come to the interesting part so now now you see what happens is how do we know that where the self is there you say that the self is not the body you say that the self is not the mind you say it is not the breath also breath also it is not air then where exactly is the self position i should need a position no but as we saw self is beyond time and space and causation so you cannot exactly position self because it is infinite so there is no space but the upanishad gives an allegory it gives an example it says that self you see what happens now we come back to our classical example of what is the classical example of advaita vedanta so how many of you know the example of snake and rope how many of you don't know the example of snake and rope so no you don't know snake and rope so you have to take lift your hand no? so snake and rope means what see there is a rope okay and there is a dark room okay and you get into the room and then you just stumble upon the rope and the rope is so coiled and so positioned that it looks much like a snake okay now how will you know that it is not a snake huh is it clear there is a dark room there is a rope which is such kept in such a way that you think it is a snake how will you know that it is not a snake 
by putting light, torch or whatever, even Nokia phone has got this light. No? So you put this light and you know that it is not a snake. Okay, now this snake, you know what is Bean Bajana, na? that snake charma dupu, something, so many Nagin songs are there about that. So now you do that in front of that rope, will the snake go? Will it go? Because it is not snake. Okay, carbolic acid is supposed to be a deterrent to snake movement. You put carbolic acid, will the snake go? Because it is not a snake. So you do mantra, all tantra, everything you do, nothing will happen. The snake will not go because to begin with it is not a snake. The only way it will go is that your whole idea that it is a snake will go. When you put the light, similarly, similarly, the whole world which I see is the snake. The whole world actually, actually is not existing in this form. It is existing in the form of the rope that is Brahman. But I see so much confusion, so much fear, untruth, problem, etc. because of darkness of ignorance. The moment I get knowledge, world will be there because Brahman is there. Something cannot come out of nothing. You see, the snake would not have been there if there were no rope. Correct? Rope was there, that is why you are thinking it to be snake. So, when this knowledge will come, I will understand that there is only consciousness. So what will happen? Whole world will vanish, right? No exam, no class, no problem. So that is how you go beyond sorrow because there will be nothing to be sorrowful of. You will go beyond uh, fear because there will be nothing to be afraid of. The universe will vanish. Universe will vanish. No, no. Why are you so interested about food? <laughs> that food is coming, no? No, no, universe will vanish, true. Vishwam darpana drishya mana nagari tulyam. Vishwam, this whole world, Dakshinamurti Stotram, this whole world is like darpana drishya mana nagari tulyam. We all travel in cars, don't we? In the rear view mirror, what is it written? Objects may be closer than they appear, right? And you can see the whole city or something in that. Darpana drishya mana nagari. If you have a mirror, you can see the whole reflection of a city in that mirror. But if you touch the mirror, will you touch the city? If you get into the mirror, will you go to the city? No. Similarly, this universe is city, this Brahman reflected in a mirror. Nija antar gatam. But where is it actually situated? It is situated in you. The locus is yourself. That is what you have to understand. And that person, one who has understand, that is the person who is called Dakshina Murti. So, this is the idea. So, universe will vanish. Of course, it will vanish. But you will be aware of consciousness. Universe will vanish means what? Nothing, it will just vanish and nothing will remain, not like that. Consciousness will be there. So, now what is told is, this Brahman, Kshatriya, all these class differences which we make, they will all be eaten up by self. Eaten up means nothing will be eaten up. The whole idea of distinction will go away. So now, we can chant this. Yasya Brahman, Cha Shatram Yasya Brahma Cha Shatram Shatram Cha Ubhe Bhavata Odana Mrityu Yasya Upasechanam Ka Itha Veda Yatra Saha Yasya Brahma cha Kshatram. Now, Brahma means Bra Brahmin. Kshatram means uh, Kshatriya. So, all these differences. Brahmin is one who is Brahma Acharati Iti Brahmana. Hai. One who follows Brahman. What is Brahman? The ultimate reality. So, Brahmin, if somebody starts a shoe shop, that is not Brahmin. So, what is Brahmin? You have to devote yourself to 
understanding your own self, your own higher dim dimension of your personality. You should study yourself, meditate and also teach. That is Brahmin. So nowadays we have very less kind of people. This, this breed is decreasing. Then Kshatriya, that also is decreasing today. What is Kshatriya? One who protects. So who protects? Now nobody protects. Now boundaries are all opened to everybody to come and do whatever they can. So Kshatriya also is not there. So Kshatriya, idea is whatever differences you have, Brahmana, Kshatriya, Shudra, Vaishya, etc. will go away. They will be gobbled up by who? By the self. So, Yasya, for which? For which? Ubhe, both Kshatriya, Brahmana, etc. Bhavataha Odanaha. They are like food for this. So, Atma realization, you understand yourself, immediately everything goes away. So then no more Brahman, no more Kshatriya. Sri Ramakrishna never bothered who is Brahman, who is Kshatriya, nobody. Shankaracharya also, he did not bother. So he had some problem. Then this, you, you know this Manisha Panchakam incident, I have told, Chandala. So he was taking bath in Varanasi and came out of the Ganga and then he saw a Chandala. Chandala is an outcast. He does not fall under the four castes. So Chandala he saw and he said, Gacha, Gacha, Dura, Gacha, Dura, Gacha. You go away, go away. Then Chandala said that who are you asking to go away? Annamayat Annamayam. Are you asking this body to go away from that body? Athava Chaitanya Meva Chaitanya. Or are you asking this consciousness which is inside me to go away from the consciousness which is inside? Both are same. So what is the difference? Chandala Vati Payaha. Chandala Vati Payaha means the water which flows alongside the house of Chandala because Chandala used to you know skin these cows etc to make leather so the water will be full of dirt so Gangambu Bimbite the sun which is reflected in Gangambu the water of Ganga how is it different from the sun which is reflected in the water of the Nala or the gutter which flows across the house of Chandala. There is no difference. Mrit Kumba, in a mud pot, there is a space. How is that space or atmosphere inside a mud pot different from Kanchana Ghati, the space or atmosphere inside a golden pot? There is no difference. Similarly, there is no difference between this Atman and that Atman. So, whom are you asking to move away from? So immediately Shankaracharya understood that he has done something totally wrong. Then he did a big namasta, namaste, big pranam to Chandala and he said, what did he say? Anybody knows Manisha Panchakam? Jagrat Swapna Shushuptihi. See how it starts, very important. Jagrat Swapna Shushuptihi Sputatara Ya Samvid Ujrambate. That consciousness which reveals itself very clearly in three states of consciousness, Jagrat, waking state, Swapna, dreaming state, Sushupti, deep sleep. So that is what? That Brahman is Brahmadi Pili Kanta Tanushu, Prota Jagat Sakshini. Brahma, Brahma means not this Brahman, that four faced Brahma. In his body and also in the body, of an ant. From an ant to the Brahma, the same consciousness is prota, spread. Jagat Sakshini, it is the witness to the entire universe. Saivaham, Nachadrishya Vastu. I am that consciousness. I am not the seen. I am the, I am not the seer. I am the seen. I am that consciousness. I am not something, an object which is seen. No. This mobile, this remote, everything is seen. I am not like that. Nacha drishya vastu. One who has got this kind of prajna, this kind of knowledge, he is Manisha. He is a wise man. Satu, Chandalastu, Dujostu, Manisha, uh, 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 Guru Ityesha Manisha Mama. That person is my teacher. Whether that person be a Chandala, 
or a dvija means a person who is born twice mean brahmin so this he said so why does he say that because the vanish uh, the difference between uh, chandala and uh, brahmin vanishes there is no difference shri ramakrishna sees nothing he goes to the house of that sweeper rasik mehta and goes to the toilet and those days toilet means not that beautiful toilets now we have people can fall in asleep in the toilets many people do so not like that toilet means the whole nasty stuff will be there only so he takes his hair which was quite long because he was not cutting it and wipes that dirty place and gets beyond this ideas of abhorrence and dirt etc so there when you become knowledgeable you have no there was somebody called surat kumar how many of you know surat kumar in trivannamalai there was a saint called surat kumar he used to always have this fan you know he used to never take bath and he used to lie down in a gutter and all that so he was a brahmagyani no one of brahman so you don't have any differences all differences go that is why this mantra says that o dhanam it is like food it is like food for self so when you get the knowledge of self everything is gobbled up and what is mrityu we are talking about mrityu we are talking about death it says mrityu upasechanam mrityu is like chutney so you take idli and chutney is only side side dish you take naan and then what palak paneer is side dish so it says mrityu is like side dish don't worry about it these differences are the main meal and mrityu is side dish upasechanam veda itta yatra sah and how to know this <laughs> how to how to know where this self is there this self for which all these differences are food and death is like chutney chutney is here no they kept is chutney chutney is very important in a bengali food meal either you take the chutney or you are made chutney off there are two meanings in bengal you know you made chutney Rece- uh, some years back there is the book was released on different kinds of usages of english in india and the book's name is chutneyfying english so chutney has got you see once humorously swami vivekananda in europe told europe yeah in europe he said swami vivekananda said what is important to, to us today is kali and chutney <laughs> see chutney is very important because that gives spice to life you no know? imagine a idli without chutney it's like nothing so without chutney life is insipid spiceless so chutney so death is chutney it gives spice but that's all it has got no other value and differences also have no value they are gobbled up by the realization but the self which has got this power to vanish death and to vanish differences where is this self kaha itha veda yatra sah where is this self how do we understand we have to study now nachiketa has been given this idea where is this self now you are telling understand this self understand this self understand this where is this is it a book is it a place to be seen it is a museum it is a library or it is a internet url where is it so now we come to the idea that yes we have to understand the self which no 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 <laughs> no 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 this is by google i namaha i got this and it is one of the dishes in bajahari manna <laughs> from their website i got it it is not it is not offering though they have used those uh, plates and all that but uh, okay now how to understand so immediately the upanishad gives us two natures or two steps of understanding brahman ultimate reality earlier also we have seen it one is inferior brahman that is we want to enjoy something after death somebody wants to become indra somebody wants to become brahma that kind of power how do you get that by performing sacrifices so now how can we perform sacrifice we don't have sacrifice 
Gas also is very costly. Wood you cannot cut. How do you perform sacrifice? So sacrifice means what? You do some kind of yajna, some kind of benefit for the society so that your next life will be good. But you will not be liberated. Shine punye martya lokam vishanti. That is the language used in the Gita. So this is like deposit. When the deposit will be over, your credit card will be rejected. So you will have to again come back. And then you tell to the person, I studied in IIT Kharagpur, nobody is going to listen. A for apple. Again start from the scratch. A for apple. May, may not be that time, they may not teach you like that. Maybe some, uh, what you call, 3D or uh, like that virtual reality something. But C for uh, something. But C for computer, etc. A for apple. And apple also people will understand more this Steve Jobs apple than that original apple. Anyway, but we will have A for apple. You cannot then give some algorithm saying that I did my doctorate in uh, you know artificial intelligence from IIT uh, something that nobody is going to accept. And worst of, worst of everything is the person who will be teaching you, she will be just a school pass out or something and they will, she will be giving you great knowledge. So it is going to be this. So that is one level. Another level is you want to realize the true self, which is na hanyate hanyamane sharire, which is not killed when the body is killed. That you have to realize. How will you realize? That you can realize by giving up attachment here itself. You don't need to go to any loka. Here itself you can. Sarga attachment you can give, give up here itself. And then by giving up, you can realize. So, that is what is told in this mantra that we have two levels of attainment meant for two different kinds of people. As he said, not all persons want to give up desires. So people who want desires, okay, aap thoda samaj ke liye bhi karo. You have, you do everything, but also visit now and then Lions Club. You see, this Lions Club is meant for people like that. They want all their photographs, uh, newspaper, etc. So that is taken care of. Lions Club, Rotary Club, all this is for this kind of people. Ritam Pibantau. Ritam Pibantau. Sukritasya Loke. Guham Pravishtau. Parame Parardhe. Chaya Tapau. Brahma Vido Vadanti. Panchagnayo, Yecha, Trinachi Ketaha. You see, life is full of dualities good, bad, truth, lie, etc. White, black. So, here also, there are two, kind of two kinds of people. So, the, in Sanskrit, there are three numbers. What is number? Grammar. Plural, singular, it is called number in grammar. So in Sanskrit there are three numbers. Singular, dual and plural. Eka vachana, dvi vachana, bahu vachana. So here it is pibantau. If it is singular, it would have been singular, it would have been pibati. If it would have, it would have been bahu vachana, it would have been pibanti. But here it is not, it is pibantau, means dual. So there are two people. So Sanskrit, you see, you don't need to actually tell that two people. You just say lokau, enough. Lokaha, one person. Lokaha, many people. The Sanskrit is very simple, all in formula type. So pibantau means two people are drinking. So, how to translate only one word, pibantau, two people drink. Three words it becomes in English. Ritam pibantau, what is this ritam? Truth. So, truth is drunk by two people. How can you drink truth? So, it is a way of telling things. You follow the path given in scriptures. Two kinds of people follow. What do they do? So, I will give you a small joke and then for today we will finish. Ritam Pibantau. So you see many things are told in the scriptures. So there are two kinds of people. 
one person is he will say or she will say what will i get from this humko kya milega that is one kind another kind is i don't want anything but i want to know what is there beyond this body and mind i want to know that by knowing which everything is known kasminno gyate bhagavan sarvamidam vigyatum bhavatum iti interestingly the same question came to who who was the scientist who asked this question who was the scientist who said that give me one thing which explains everything einstein give me one force which explains all the four basic forces of nature strong force weak force electromagnetic force and gravitational force which led to the unified field theory or theory of everything and it's still on but that question was asked centuries back in an upanishad mundaka upanishad by a disciple to the sage kasminno gyatum bhagavan sarvadam sarvamidam vigyatum bhavati iti vigyatam bhavati iti what is that by knowing which i know everything but interestingly without reading the upanishad einstein asked the same question so you see if you pursue truth it can be through science or it can be through religion if you pursue it with full sincerity it takes you to the same place kasminno gyatum bhagavan sarvamidam all this is known so that question one kind of people ask another kind of people ask hame kya milega acha humne kathopanishad class attend kiya fir bhi aisa kyu hua humne to bahut acha kaam kiya fir to hame aisa nahi hona chahiye tha so why is that i did not get this girl though i attended this kathopanishad class so brother you are missing the whole point here but anyway there are a group of people who want that and that is why you see the scripture has advertisement for both the people it says what agni hotram juhuyat swarga kama hai so the veda says agni hotram juhuyat you have to perform agni hotra sacrifice so a normal person will perform because it is told in the way normal means a person who wants to go beyond body and mind will perform without any advertisement but for people who want humko kya milega swarga kama hai those who want to go to heaven perform this so yes 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 hum bhi jayenge heaven mein dekhenge thoda apsara apsara and here with prohibition and all that you don't get all this scotch and all that there to somras milega so we have a wonderful thing everything is taken care of so i will go agni hotram juhu yaad swarga ka so here ritam pibanto ritam truth has got two one is the relative truth one is the ultimate truth relative truth is what i have to earn money roti kapda and makan i have to have something so this knowledge i want ritam pibanto sukritasya loke both have to be sukrita hai both have to be sukrita hai you have to perform good deeds su means good krita hai deeds by doing bad deeds you will get neither you have to perform good deeds so good deeds those who perform good deeds can get two type of actions uh, results one is they will be able to understand their own self slowly they will be progressing towards that direction and another is they will get this swarga brahma loka indra loka etc then parame parardhe in this superior space of the heart before the class we were talking about meditation in the heart so parame parardhe the space parardhe in the cavity of the heart parame which is superior yau those two people guham pravishtau they will enter the they will understand the thing which is present in the cave of the intellect guha cave of the intellect pravishtau they will understand and they will brahma vidau vidah they will understand brahman tau chaya tapau vadanti 
but those people will understand it as differently some will understand it as light those people who want to go beyond body and mind will understand it as light and those people who want something they will understand it as shade so they will it is just a figurative language they will understand it as differently some people will understand swarga some people will understand so swarga is a inferior reality that is not the ultimate reality you will have to come back again so ye cha panchagnaya hai and also nachiketa is being acknowledged you see nachiketa got how many boons 3 or 4 Ah. So that was a special offer, you see. Three plus one, one complimentary. So what was that complimentary bone? The name of the sacrifice will be named after Nachiketa, so it became Nachiketa. So Panchagna ya hai. Those who worship the five fires, Panchagni, those who worship, and also three Nachiketa, those who perform. the nachiketa sacrifice they also tell the same thing that there are two kinds of reality you can aspire to that is why in indian tradition we say krama mukti jeevan mukti so kraman mukti also will take you mukti but there is another mukti which is which will take you to different lokas that is not mukti you will have to come back again and jeevan mukti is knowing your own self in this very life so that joke i wanted to tell you is this marriage was going on and you know marriage ceremonies in india can become very time consuming and very long particularly in brahmin communities it is still long and runs into several days etc but anyway everywhere marriage ceremony is long it starts from night and two day process minimum so this bride groom was completely hungry so the pandit said दैट अच्छा घी लाहत में लीजिए और इसमें डालिए और बोलिए स्वाहा सो दिस मैन इज स्वाहा वन सीड टोल देन अगेन सम मंत्र देन इज इट स्वाहा हाफ स्लीपी हाफ हंग्री एवरीथिंग टोटल कंफ्यूजन देन इन बिटवीन इज ऑल दैट लॉट ऑफ भोगा वाज गिवन टू द दैट हवन दैट होमा लॉट ऑफ आइटम्स वेर केप्ट देयर सो ही सॉ दैट लड्डूस वेर देयर सो पंडित जी टोल that you put this and put swaha then this fellow took one laddu put in your mouth and told aha so like that you see this laddu putting is this swarga loka and all that you have this swarga loka idea so you put it and say aha kitna tasty tha to ritam pibantau sukritasya loke there are this two type now you have to decide which type you will be thank you any questions five fires garha patya ahavaniya dakshinagni sabhya and avasatya it is in the brihadarni upanishad 6th chapter 9th to 13th do you have this book ah in that it is written did you see that page number 64 footnote and that is for heaven cloud earth man and woman this could be another interpretation garhapatya means grihastha ashrama to maintain the grihastha ashrama you have to do some rites ahavaniya means to invoke the gods you have to do the rites dakshina agni means to invoke proper peace in family life you have to do sabhya is for your social standing and avasatya is for your well being in general but there is another interpretation you see heaven cloud earth man and woman this can also be panchagni this is a kind of ritual practice na panchatapa laga yes panchatapa is when your body is uh, heated by fires from uh, five sides four uh, usually done in the midday no, whole day it's called panchatapa it's a kind of a kritya sadhana jada boli 
It's a physical austerity. 